Today's United States, with its high patent barriers and super strong science and technology, can be said to be booming in the field of semiconductors. At least for now, looking at the world, the United States can be said to be invincible, but, as anyone who knows history knows. In the past, Japan, which was backed by the big tree of the United States, with the help of the United States, the development of the semiconductor industry was also very rapid, so fast that the United States had to intervene, and a plaza accord made Japan lost until now. Is Japan willing? Of course, he was not reconciled. Therefore, Yukio Sakamoto stood up. After the United States and South Korea joined forces to bring down the Japanese chip giant, Yukio Sakamoto came to China for revenge and joined Tsinghua Unigroup. So, why did Tsinghua Unigroup still fail to create brilliance with the addition of Sakamoto Yukio? Yukio Sakamoto joined Tsinghua Unigroup. Why hasn't the Chinese core achieved a complete rise? Yukio Sakamoto suddenly resigned and left Tsinghua Unigroup before it was fully successful? The United States and South Korea joined forces with Japan to lose, and Sakamoto Yukio left China. Yukio Sakamoto can be said to be a rare talent in the field of semiconductors. In 1970, Yukio Sakamoto joined the Japanese branch of the internationally renowned company Texas Instruments. This company can be said to be a treasured company. The former vice president of this company was at present, many people are familiar with Zhang Zhongmo. Later, Sakamoto Yukio took a step by step and became the vice president of Texas Instruments Japan branch. This point should be emphasized. To be honest, in the world, the Japanese have the most sense of national responsibility. At that time, Texas Instruments had been continuously sending talents and the latest data research to the United States. Yukio Sakamoto was reluctant to make a bridal array for the United States like this. Therefore, Kobe Steel, one of the top 500 companies in the world, once created a short-lived glory, but this also touched the backlash of the United States. Therefore, the United States filed a lawsuit, and Sakamoto Yukio was not reconciled and established Elpida. However, due to the financial crisis in 2008 and the deliberate targeting of the United States and South Korea, Elpida was finally acquired by the United States because of bankruptcy. So I looked at China. Therefore, I joined Tsinghua Unigroup in November 2019. On October 1, 2020, since Gao Chichuan, the global executive vice president of Tsinghua Unigroup, left Tsinghua Unigroup due to the expiration of the contract, Yukio Sakamoto, the senior vice president of Tsinghua Unigroup and the CEO of the Japanese branch, officially took over. Tsinghua Unigroup's drum business. So, Tsinghua Unigroup has Sakamoto Yukio as a semiconductor leader, why did it still not go to glory in the end? Why did the addition of Sakamoto Yukio not help Tsinghua Unigroup to become brilliant? Take the drum business unit as an example. On July 1, 2019, Tsinghua Unigroup announced the establishment of a drum business group, with Diao Shijing as the chairman and Gao Chichuan as the CEO. Did you find anything? Three months after its establishment, Gao Chichuan left because the contract expired. A nascent drum is left behind. Sakamoto Yukio accepted drum it should be a feeling of being in danger. It is normal to take over temporarily and not be able to lead Tsinghua Unigroup to glory. Today, chips are widely used in all walks of life, whether it is commercial, civilian, or military, they are inseparable from the support of chips. South Korea and the United States control half of the market in the chip field. The reason why South Korea and the United States can dominate the chip field is mainly due to their semiconductor companies. Companies such as Samsung Electronics Intel and Micron support the global chip field. Of course, these companies cannot become giants without the support of the governments of South Korea and the United States. Relying on the country's tough measures, the United States and South Korea have encircled and suppressed their strong competitor, Japan's Elpida. Yukio Sakamoto was the former president of Elpida. The company was on the verge of bankruptcy, and Yukio Sakamoto called for help. However, under the joint pressure of the United States and South Korea, no bank dared to lend a helping hand. In the end, Elpida was annexed by American companies. Furthermore, in the field of chips, market competition is still relatively encouraging. In the field of semiconductors, there are Huawei and SMIC in China and Samsung and Intel in foreign countries. The competition pressure of Tsinghua Unigroup is still relatively large, and Sakamoto Yukio cannot help Tsinghua Unigroup to move forward brilliant is actually quite normal. Today, it can be said that Yukio Sakamoto did not achieve revenge against the United States through Tsinghua Unigroup, so why did he still resign and leave Tsinghua Unigroup without achieving his own purpose? 
Why did Yukio Sakamoto leave Tsinghua Uni Group? You must know that Yukio Sakamoto was 74 years old when he left Tsinghua Uni Group. As the saying goes, life is rare in 70 years. Even if the old Ji Fujing ambition is a thousand miles away. Martyrs in their twilight years are full of courage. However, it may be a little powerless after all, so Sakamoto Yukio left Tsinghua Uni Group, probably because of physical reasons. In addition, Yukio Sakamoto's departure may also be due to seeing the rise of Chinese semiconductors. In terms of chip research and development, China already has Huawei's Kirin and Alibaba's Etienne. In terms of chip production, Shanghai Microelectronics has successively realized domestic DUV lithography. R&D and production of 2.5D-3D high-end advanced packaging lithography machines. Under the restrictions of the United States as always, the Chinese chip has achieved a breakthrough step-by-step, step, and it is impacting American semiconductors step-by-step. Step. In general, Sakamoto Yukio's revenge against American semiconductors should be regarded as an indirect realization. Therefore, if you look at it like this, Yukio Sakamoto's departure should be taken for granted. Finally, on February 27, according to the Neon Kizai Shimbun report, at the International Solid State Circuits Conference held this week, the number of accepted papers from Japanese researchers shrank further. The Nikkei Shimbun believes that Japan has fallen behind in basic semiconductor research in China and the United States. As a Japanese, Yukio Sakamoto will naturally choose to leave Tsinghua Uni Group. In short, in my opinion, the departure of Sakamoto Yukio has a certain impact on the development of China's DEAM flash memory chips and the overall progress of China's chip industry. However, today's China's chips have long changed. It is realizing localization step by step, getting rid of external dependence step by step, breaking through the big net woven by the United States step by step, and moving towards a more brilliant future step by step. It is expected that China will be able to use a broader mind in the future to attract more talents like Yukio Sakamoto, contribute to the development and progress of China's chip industry, and add more help to the rise of China's chip industry.